Hi guys, Knife Detector here. I wanted to give you a close up of my creation here. Um, it's not something that is terribly fancy, uh, but I thought to myself, self, there's got to be a way that I can tr uh, carry this knife tracker style, you know, because honestly, I, I really like this knife, and but the sheath I have for it is just really old, and I've had to mend it a few times, and I thought, well, I really like it, and it's sharp, uh, and uh, it's the older one, it's not the new one. You know, I like the older ones better with the carbon steel and the thicker steel that they use on it, thicker spine, um, even though this is a little shorter, because when I got it, the tip was broken off, so I had to re-tip it. Um, uh, excuse my hands, are <laughs> real dirty. I was working on the brakes in my car right now. Uh, sorry about that. Um, took off the brakes on my wife's uh, car, and... Uh, was uh putting on some new brake pads <laughs> but uh, sorry about that uh, i thought i washed them but uh you know what i find that works well for this stuff is the wd-40 sometimes i wash them in wd-40 that gets the grease and the grime out but in any case um let's get back to this bad boy so i figured you know the sheaths that you can buy you know uh the modern ones like if you buy a new one you get a sheath i just i just don't like them for some reason i like the old one that i have uh, in there that I used, uh, that came with it. Um, but, uh, it didn't really come with it. Actually. I got it after market, the other sheet. Uh, it's pretty old and falling apart. So I thought to myself, self, there's gotta be a better way. Right. And I kind of, well, maybe I can carry this tracker style. So I decided, yeah, let me put something together. So this is what I came up with, you know, um, it's very basic. And the way I, I do these, when I, when I think of these is I just kind of come up with a pattern in my brain, like what'll work. Right. And then uh, I cut up the pattern before I forget. And uh, then, you know, I start working on it. And the stitching is all by hand. And that's why you see maybe the holes are very noticeable. And the stitching might be a little bit off, you know, and the cutting on the pattern. I did that all by hand. Um, so it's not going to win a beauty contest, but it does get the job done. So I can carry this um, on my lower back. Uh, tracker style on my back and pull it out with my right hand as I'm going to show you in a video in a little while um, or rather you know what I'm going to do I think I'm going to go ahead and show you that first in that video and that way you'll see that first in case you guys don't want to stick around for the explanation <laughs> so uh, I'm going to show you that video first and I'm going to add this to it second nature okay and this is what the back looks like you know this is essentially two pieces of leather uh, that I put together and uh, stitched it together and I cut the grooves open for the belt using the tool that you saw there in the video. It's a Blackie Collins uh, utility knife, right? So I can carry this either in the small of my back or I can carry this uh, right along the side of my, of my belt as well. So there's a couple different ways I can carry this. And uh, like this, I can carry it on the side of my belt and it'll just be right here on my right hand where I can make it accessible or I could carry it this way and pull it out with my left or actually the way I had it before is this way. I'm going to turn this around. That's a rivet like so and uh, carry it like that. Put that in and carry it that way as well. And this will be in the small of my back like that and then pull it out. So there's a couple of different configurations. I can do with this one but what I'm leaning with more is I'm leaning with carrying this on the side like you're gonna see in one of the pictures um, one of the things I did with this is I put a plastic insert in here I can't really tell but there's a plastic V in here and it's a piece of plastic that's folded so that uh, when I put the knife in it's not going to bust through the other side eventually or break the stitching. So the knife actually rests inside this plastic insert. And I got that from a, from a plastic insert I bought from a knife I bought. I just uh, repurposed that plastic insert and then I stuck it in there so that it hits against that. So it's pretty sturdy. It's pretty secure. I mean, this stuff ain't going to fall off, you know. Um, once it's in there, it is in there. So I'm happy for that. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Hope you get a kick out of this. You know, it's just a an idea. It's a testament that, you know, if we really want to do something, you know, you can put your mind to it and you can get it done yourself. You know, you can buy it aftermarket if you want to, or you can just go ahead and uh, get your hands dirty 
and uh, do it yourself. You know, I'm kind of a do it yourself kind of guy. Uh, if at all possible, and I can do it myself, I do do it myself. Uh, not only does it save you a little bit of money, but it also gives you a little bit of pride that you were able to do something like that, right? So I think this is pretty cool. There isn't another one like it in the world because I made this one. All right, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that first part of the video. That was just me showing you the different styles that I could uh, wear. Until then, this is another episode of The Knife Detector. It's actually a little longer video than I intended it to be. Sorry about that. While I'm here, I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers, you guys. You guys, I got a lot of awesome videos coming up. Coming up soon, you're going to see a lot of case knife videos. I got a little mini case sodbuster. It's probably from the early 2000s. I got, a, I believe it's a 1980s a full-size sodbuster. Man, I got a case. I think it's a 2159 LSSP. They don't really make that anymore. It's a big hunk of metal case knife. Hunter, folding hunter. Um, I got a case. Uh, I forgot what the number designation one, but it what was, but it's an, elect, it's an electrician's knife. It's got the, the flathead and it's got a hawk bill that I'm going to have to fix a little bit. I got that one on the way. Uh, you know, I also got uh, a couple of really cool knives at this antique shop in Green, uh, Texas. Uh, I don't know if you've ever been to Green, Texas, but man, it's like a, it's like a little uh, uh, tourist trap. And they've got this huge warehouse size antique store, guys. And man, if I thought it was uh, safe to video, I probably would have videoed there. But I think because of COVID, they had closed the place down and they opened it up. They have all kinds of antiques, something for everyone, but this place had basically hundreds of knives. Um, so many different knives from modern to knives that are a couple hundred, like a year, hundred years old, probably maybe older than that. And I bought uh, three of them, including that uh, large case folding hunter I talked about. I even found uh, an AW, I believe it's AW Wadsworth knife from Germany that I think is from the 1920s, uh, two blade jackknife. And, uh, Oh man, I found this awesome old timer 96 OT guys that I've been looking forever. This is the I think the 1992 model when they first came out. It's a little beat up, but it, it looks pretty good to me. So guys, I got a whole bunch of videos coming up. If you like older knives, uh, older knife videos, uh, more traditional knife videos, man, I got a lot of those coming up. And I got some modern ones coming up too. I have found a really good deal on this knife at Walmart for 12 bucks. Uh, I have a couple of Rough Rider knife videos. Okay, I got about 20 or 30 knife videos coming up for you guys, probably in the next few months. So you guys stay safe. Uh, take care of my friends. And uh, this is another one from the Knife Detector. Catch you later.